Hello everyone and welcome to this, another episode of Surviving Rust. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode we took a look at uh, either farming reds or quite possibly uh, building a sneaky base. In this episode we're going to take a look at the sneakiest way to raid a base. Now, there's currently not anybody else on the server right now, on the server, so I'm not too too worried about it. And some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you're so dishonorable, you're raiding without anyone being there. You know what? That's just the game. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Here's what we are gonna do, though. I'm taking a look in this base right now. I don't see anybody inside. I don't even see any bodies in there. But I do see a couple things that make this base very much worthwhile raiding. First, oh, for what I wanna do anyway. First of all, uh, I see a bunch of sleeping bags down here. I see at least three, so that's not bad. Maybe even four. Uh, I saw a few chests on the other side, and I see there's a door. There's a couple doors here in the middle, which means that these guys have some secret stuff. And a couple of chests I saw right there have some secret stuff on the inside. Now let me let's go back here. I just want to go back here for a minute because in case someone logs in, I don't want anyone being like, "Hey, uh, what are you doing in my base?" Let's take a look at what I usually bring with me whenever I do this kind of raid. I usually bring a handful of stuff. I usually bring a shotgun and uh, a full load with an, one reload because if I'm going to get into a fight and this whole thing has been a disaster, it didn't work out and I died. That's probably what's going to be happening. I'm doing this by myself right now. Sometimes you can do it with a buddy uh, and if you do, that's even better. But that's all I usually bring. That and a bow with a handful of arrows and that way if there's a long distance fight, then I'm, uh, I can do something anyway. I bring crappy armor. If I'm going to lose anything, I don't mind losing the crappy armor and I don't want to leave these guys anything extra. Um, I usually bring a, a research kit. Now, um, a lot of you guys are like, why didn't you use it right away, etc. Um, I, sometimes I do. I use them right away if, if I have something I want to research, but if not, I bring one with me. If I have an extra one, I bring it with me. Yes, it would suck to lose it, uh, but I always bring it, just in case they have something awesome inside. And I'm going to tell you why once we're inside. I bring a sleeping bag. I bring two, in this case, actually, because there's there's two doors I'm going to have to bust down, two metal doors and two door frames, as well as a furnace and of course the C4 need to break the place down. Now, let's go over here and take a look at this base. A lot of you guys are going to say, well, go in there, you blow the wall off, you run inside, you take everything, you smash it all. I don't do that. In fact, I want these guys to be working for me. So here's what I am going to do. First of all, I'm not going to blow the door. I am going to blow the frame of the door just like that. I'm going to blow the frame of the door and hopefully to be able to take it out with one blow. Boom. Yes, I did. Perfect. And I'm going to run inside here. Bang, bang. And the reason why I did that, let me switch this out really fast. I should have done it this way. I should have had this thing already switched up. Um, the reason why I do that is because, uh, let me put this back, bang right there, and six, get a door in here. Oh, get in there, door. Sometimes if you blow the door, bang, just like that. Sometimes if you blow the door, then, uh, then you end up with a problem, and that problem being, it leaves like this, like, un, this melted metal bar or something like that down below and uh, you can't put a new door in place. The first thing I want to do is put this new door in place. That way, if anyone does show up, um, then uh, they, might not, they won't be able to get in. Yes, I know I'm in here, and I'll have to fight my way out because there's only one door, but that's the way it goes. So I don't see any bodies in here. And that's kind of good because, you know what, I wouldn't want to deal with bodies anyway. I see one, two, three, four, five sleeping bags, great, and I see a bunch of chests. Now, these are probably going to be crappy things. Nothing I want there. Nothing I really want there. All the stuff that's in here, nothing I want there. All the stuff that's in here, I can actually just get on my own later on. Ooh, what did I do that for? Turn that off. E, open up. Uh, there's a lot of food, so I'm going to take some of this food, actually. I'm not going to take all of it. I'm only going to take a little bit. I'm going to take 10. I'll take 10. I'm only going to take a little bit. I don't want these people to know that I'm here. This is a sneaky raid. Let's see if there's anything good in here. There's not going to be. In fact, what's in here? Uh, some sulfur and a little bit of metal. Nothing I really care about. What I really care about actually is this next door right here. In fact, we'll go on this side because there's no window. Oh, there's a window there too. We're going to blow out this door right here as well. So I'm going to need one more C4. Yep. I'm going to put it right here. Get up there, boom. I'm going to go hide. Hide, 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 hide. Three. Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, actually there's a dude in here. <laughs> There's a dude in here, and most of you guys would say, oh, there's a dude in there, let's kill him. No, I don't want to kill him, actually. I do not want to kill him. I actually don't want anyone to even know I'm here. Boom, put this back, and boom, put a door on. So now there's at least a door that I can escape through in case this guy wakes up. And I got a shoddy anyway. This is where they're going to keep the good stuff. That's why I broke in here. Let's see what they got. E. Some building supplies. I don't really care about it. Uh, these guys are... They don't have a whole lot. Let's see. <laughs> e. Okay, blueprints. First thing I'm going to check. F1 grenade, I can build it. Shotgun, I can build it. Another F1, I don't care. Laser sight, I can build it. Flashlight, can I build this? 
Yes! Okay, good. Any blueprints? Large storage? I'm sure I can build. Yeah, I can. Um, any Anything like this, I immediately I immediately grab and I put my thing. First of all, because there's more than... I hope this guy doesn't wake up. I'm going to watch him. Um, first of all, because there is, uh, there's a bunch of guys that are actually playing in this area, um, they might just assume somebody already used it. So that's cool. I'm going to use that. There's one more thing here to look at. One more. Did I already look in this one? No, I didn't. Okay, they got C4. I'm going to take some of the C4. I'm going to take at least a stack. I don't want to take too much. Oh, they got M4s. I am going to take an M4. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take half their bullets. Boom, boom. Now, I can already build M4s, so I'm not too, too worried about actually... Let's put this down here right now. Five, and we'll reload it in case someone wakes up. Reload. All right. I'm taking half their bullets. I don't want them to actually know that I was even here. So three again. All right. So was there anything at all worth while learning how to build? This is what I'm going to... Okay, good. There's actually something right here. I'm going to learn how to build these guys here. I don't want to take their kids. I'm going to take one kit with me for sure. Let's close this off. Go back to this workbench that I saw tab. And I'm going to learn this thing right now. Bang. Great. Split. So now, even if something goes wrong, I've actually learned... I already knew how to make an M4 before. That's why I didn't learn it. Um, but now I've, I've automatically learned something new that I didn't have. Let's put this back. There's nothing else in here I want. There's nothing else in here I actually want. Now, what that's going to leave me is in a situation where they can't get in or out. So, the first thing I'm going to do is, they've got a row of them here and a sleeping bag here, I'm going to take my extra sleeping bag and I'm going to throw it on the ground. Just like this. Six. I'm going to throw it on the ground. Uh, actually, I'm going to throw it over here. Maybe worth. Oh, there's one over here too. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here. I'll put it right, uh, right here. Um, there's actually a whole bunch of sleeping bags in here. More than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I put down a seventh sleeping bag. Now, first of all, unless these guys are walking through counting the sleeping bags, uh, they're never going to know what was there. They're not going to actually say, what the hell happened? I didn't take anything. I'm like a ghost right now. I came in here and I left without a trace. Without a single trace at all. No one knows I've been here right now. I barely took anything at all. First thing I'm going to do is go E, hold this thing down, and I'm going to change. I'm going to unlock this door. Bang. This door is now unlocked. Now if these guys show up here, they're not going to know anything happened. I'm going to do the same thing with this door over here. I'm going to do it in a minute, actually. There's one more thing I want to do. One more sneaky-ass thing I'm going to do. The last thing I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to, bang, take this thing here, and I'm going to put a furnace way over here in the corner. And you might say, why am I adding a furnace in? The furnace, and this doesn't always work. It all depends on if you get it in the right spot. The furnace is going to allow me to shuttle goods in case something happens. Uh, if, I, if I have a buddy outside right now, I could actually be shuttling goods. Bang. That might be in the right spot. It might not. We'll go check it in a second. I'll get my shotgun back out. Um, so that door's unlocked. They're just going to come up. They're going to open this door. They're never going to be like, wow, this door's unlocked. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy right here. E, hold it down. E, unlock. These guys are not going to know I was, gonna, I was here. They're going to see an extra furnace. They're going to see an M4 missing. And they're going to see a blueprint missing. That's all they're going to see. And, and a, a med kit. What are they going to care? They're, oh, and, and some of their C4. And they might care about that. But they're going to assume that their buddy actually uh, used that. They're going to assume that one of the guys here on the server used it up instead of uh, you know telling anybody about it. So... I threw down a sleeping bag. I am now going to get the hell out of here. There's no reason for me to stay anymore. They don't really have anything else I want. The door is unlocked. I can always come back. I can always come back for it. And if I got really lucky and I put the furnace in the right spot, then let me see if I can access it. I can't. I can't right now. you got to make sure the furnace goes in the right spot. If you don't get it in the right spot, then you can't actually access it from the outside. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I saw it. You guys saw it flash, didn't you? Come on. I know I saw it. Ah, I saw it again. If you get lucky and you can actually search the uh, the furnace like this, then even if they find out the, the doors are unlocked, I gotta get out of here. Even if they find the doors are unlocked, then you can always, you can always uh, just uh, log in. Kill yourself, suicide until... I'll go back. If they show up, who cares? Um, suicide until you end up back in their fort, and then you can uh, load the furnace up. Use it kind of as a shuttle. I don't... I This this should be well far enough. Should have been well far enough. I can even see inside. Come on! Anyway, if you've got this thing in the right location... <laughs> if you've got the right location, it'll act as a shuttle. It'll act as a shuttle. You can have a friend stand outside. If they, if they find out that you've unlocked their doors, then you can uh, have a friend stand outside. You kill yourself until you end up spawning on that sleeping bag. Uh, and afterwards, you uh, just shuttle the stuff through that, uh, that furnace. Unfortunately, it's not exactly in the right spot. 
Maybe I'll go in later on and add a different one in there as long as I don't find out about that door. Anyway, guys, that is what I wanted to show you. That is how you raid a base. And you're like, a lot of guys are going to walk in there. They would have killed that dude on the floor. They would have taken his, what, what did he have on? He was a naked. He had, I think I said he had boots on. He might have had, uh, radiation boots on. Oh, I got some radiation boots. That stuff is a dime a dozen. I could have, I could have taken it out of their thing too if I wanted to. Uh, but I didn't. I didn't want to do that. It, it didn't make any sense to do that. I don't want them to even know I was there. And that way, as these guys continue to collect supplies, I can always go back in and I can continue stealing all of their stuff without a fuss, without a muss, without any any raiding at all. All I have to do is go in, open the door, walk in, take what I want, and leave. You can even do it when they're there. They might be totally surprised. And and, and how'd you get in here? Like, oh, I'm so and so's friend. One one of the other guys let me in here. Gave me the code or whatever. <laughs> Actually, there's no code in the door. That might give it away. But that might give it away. They might think that someone replaced the door anyway, so they're probably going to put a code on there eventually. Or they might run up, just do an E, it'll open and run. Give it a try, guys. I do this fairly often, actually. I do this fairly often. Um, there's a couple of different things you can do. The metal doors like that. Like I said, below the wall. Don't blow the doors. It'll put an A in... An, uh, an, like melted blob or whatever at the bottom that'll prevent you from putting a door in place. You don't want that. You want to block it up and get out as fast as you can. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Give this a try. Let the people on the server work for you. Don't do all the work yourself. You don't want to collect all your own goods. Let these suckers in there go farm and do everything else like that. And while you are doing that, you can do something else really cool. Go in and steal their stuff. Stuff. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I hope it helped you out a lot. If you enjoyed it, let me know with a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.